Section sixty nine of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. The Wanderer from the Fold by Emily Bronte. How few of all the hearts that loved are grieving for thee now, and why should mine to-night be moved with such a sense of woe? Too often thus, when left alone, where none my thoughts can see, comes back a word, a passing tone, from thy strange history. Sometimes I seem to see thee rise, a glorious child again, all virtues beaming from thine eyes that ever honoured men. Courage and truth, a generous breast where sinless sunshine lay, a being whose very presence blessed like gladsome summer day. O fairly spread thy early sail, and fresh and pure and free, was the first impulse of the gale which urged life's wave for thee. Why did the pilot, too confiding, dream o'er that ocean's foam, and trust in pleasure's careless guiding to bring his vessel home? For well he knew what dangers frowned, what mists would gather dim, what rocks and shelves and sands lay round between his port and him. The very brightness of the sun, the splendour of the main, the wind which bore him wildly on, should not have warned in vain. An anxious gazer from the shore, I marked the whitening wave, and wept above thy fate the more, because I could not save. It wrecks not now when all is over, but yet my heart will be a mourner still, though friend and lover have both forgotten thee. End of section sixty nine.